So what we've done is we've taken 10 of the most common garage door springs used on a residential garage door, and we found the average cost of one spring. And then we added a fair markup. We added certain overhead costs, such as a storage facility, some staffing, just added a percentage to that spring. Then we added the labor costs that you might expect to pay from three different size garage door companies. A lot of people have been asking, what is a fair price for spring replacement? If I get three different quotes from three different companies, I'm likely to get prices that range from $200 all the way up to $700. So what gives? Why is there such a big difference in price? And really, what is the fair price to pay? And is the cheapest price always the best price? I would break down garage door companies in three different sizes. One would be owner operated where the owner is out there in his truck doing a lot of the work. Maybe he has a helper with him. It's very likely that maybe he worked for another company for a while and then decided to move on to his own stuff. Um, he hasn't invested much into his business. He might not pay insurance. Um, he might, might not even be around for a few years to be able to honor any warranty that he gives. So it's just unproven. His business is not proven. Um, he might do a good job. The breakdown of prices that I'm going to be giving is just for the simple service of spring replacement. A lot of times when you do get a spring replaced, there is an opportunity to replace other parts, such as your bearing plates, your cables, your rollers. A lot of times a company will create more of a package deal. The more new parts that you replace as a part of the package, um, you'll get a discount. So keep that in mind. Now we're gonna check out what the price might be on the low end. This is a very common way of charging the springs, uh, which would be per spring. On the low end, usually $75 per spring and a $100 service fee. So if you were to have one spring replaced, your likely cost would be $175. And if you wanted two springs replaced, it would be $250. Usually the service has a more brief warranty, maybe six months. So the second company we're just gonna call more of a mid-sized company. Uh, there may be two or three employees. Um, the owner may or may not be involved in the operations. There's probably somebody who's a receptionist or somebody who answers the phone most of the time. The mid-sized company is gonna have more advertising to keep their employees busy. They're also more likely to carry liability insurance, um, have nicer, more organized trucks with markings, marked shirts, uh, so you know who they are when they show up. This type of company also probably has more of a track record online. You'll be able to read more reviews about them and see what their customers have to say. So this company is gonna have costs somewhere in the middle. Um, they have figured out a lot of added costs as you can see, but really mostly realistic for what's going on uh, as far as what a business has to pay. $25 the average wholesale price. Uh, $25 is 100% markup. $10 was added for warehouse and operating costs, uh, such as the lease, equipment, and staff. Uh, $20 assigned to each job for fuel, vehicle maintenance, and insurance. Actually, that would be per spring. And then $70 uh, labor, liability, and payroll tax per spring. And so if you add that up, that's $150 for one spring um, add another $150 for the second spring, um, then you'll see that $150 would be the service fee, which is kind of the profit for the company. Um, but out of that, they have to pay their advertising costs, which uh, can be pretty high. In the, the price in the middle, uh, usually your warranty is going to be somewhere between one and three years. So you're looking at $300 parts and labor for one spring replaced, and $450 for two springs replaced. 
uh, with tax is going to put you pretty close to $500. The third kind of company we're going to look at is a large company. They have more of a proven track record. They may be more of a national franchise. Um, there's a number of employees, let's just say seven plus or maybe 10 or more employees. They should have their own trucks, their own marked vehicles. Um, they should be marked with company shirts. Technicians probably enjoy more benefits. Uh, they're more likely to be more seasoned. The larger company is gonna have a better track record. They're gonna have a lot of reviews written about them. They're able to service their warranties very well. Um, there's really not, not much of a concern that they'll be here a year from now or two years from now. A lot of times the larger companies have even better parts and better materials that they use on the job. You'll see that the technicians are very well equipped. Um, their, their trucks are fully stocked. They're a lot better able to complete the job without having to leave and come back or returning on another day. They almost always can get the job done the, the same day that they're out. And in case of an emergency, a lot of the bigger companies, they're more likely to be able to show up your doorstep quicker. Um, they may have more emergency services that are available in the evenings or weekends. So when you take a look at these three different type of companies, you're going to know that there's going to be different price points for each. Now the cost on the upper end. This is usually the larger companies. You might have a small company charging these kind of prices. And that's what I think is going to contribute more to an unfair cost than an actual larger company who really does have a lot of overhead. So here you're looking at $25, the average wholesale price of a spring. $50 would be a 200% markup, $25 warehouse and operating costs, $30 for fuel, vehicle maintenance, and insurance, $100 for labor, liability, and payroll tax. So that equates to $250 for one spring and add another $250 for the second spring. So the service fee on this is a bit higher at $250. Keep in mind, they do pay more in advertising, more in overhead, more in taxes, all of that stuff. So the warranty for these larger companies is typically going to be 10 or more years, sometimes a lifetime warranty. Be careful of the lifetime warranties. A lot of times they will not include the labor cost. So the total here is $500 parts and labor for one spring replaced or $750 for two springs. To be clear, I'm not trying to say that one type of company is better than another type of company or a smaller company is not as good as a big company or that a big company is trying to rip people off. A big company, even though they charge more, can still be a good value. It just depends on what you feel is valuable to you. Uh, to some people, the price is the best value. You know, the cheapest price is what you want because you're on a budget and that's okay. When it comes to which kind of company is right for you, it really comes down to personal preference. Over the years, I've heard things and I've heard customers um, imply or say that if you charge too much, then you're just trying to rip somebody off. Well, that just depends on what value is added to that price, what value is added. Sometimes the price only represents replacing a spring. That's a very simplistic way of looking at it. There's more to hiring a company than just their price. And that is their quality of work, their experience, good reviews, and trustworthiness is very important. Maybe being able to reach somebody at all hours of the day or night is very important to you. A company that's fully stocked, that uses the best parts and the best materials. Someone that can help you in an emergency and get the job done very quick and get out of your house so you can get on with your day. That might be more important. 